Hey, I'm Mike. In this video, I'll show you how to add background music to your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Get involved in one of my upcoming audio production courses. They open every couple of months for enrollment, and I always accept a maximum of 20 students each time, so I can provide personal one-on-one -on -one coaching to each and every student. If you'd like to learn more about the world of audio, head to mrc.fm slash learn. So here I am, I've got a sequence with a video that I recorded earlier, and now I need to add some music to it. Well, luckily I downloaded some from Epidemic Sound. They're really good royalty-free music for YouTube channels. Uh, you can go and subscribe to them at mrc.fm slash music if you're interested in cool tracks uh, like this one that I've just dragged in uh, to my sequence here. Uh, let's listen to it with my dialogue. Together, take part in one of my upcoming Very loud. online audio production courses. They open every couple of Yeah, the music is definitely competing with the audio there. So we've inserted the background music. Now, how do we make it fit? Well, you can go over here into the audio workspace inside Premiere Pro. Uh, and then you'll see over here on the right hand side, you've got the essential sound panel, which is fantastic for doing things like this. So first of all, I need to tell Premiere Pro that this track here, this track with me speaking on it, is a dialogue track. Click, and now it's assigned. And then this one down here, I need to tell Premiere Pro that it's a music track. That's my first step. Now I can go in, I can either select a preset, but the most exciting thing about this is I can enable ducking to automatically duck the music when I'm talking and then raise the level of that music when I finish talking. This is amazing and such a time saver. It saves you having to go in and add keyframes and uh, fade down and fade up. All of that is now completely gone with the ducking feature inside Premiere Pro. Uh, so first of all, let's enable it by ticking uh, enable and it will duck against, as you can see here, duck against dialogue clips. Well, you have to make sure you assign your dialogue as dialogue as I just did a moment ago. Otherwise, this is not going to work. But now just on the standard settings, we've got a sensitivity of six. So it's kind of midway between low and high uh, reduced by it's going to duck the clips down by minus 18 dB. That's quite a significant ducking of the background music and the fades. How fast or slow do we want them to be at 800 milliseconds? That's pretty slow. Now, before it's going to work, and you're going to see those keyframes on your music track, you need to click generate keyframes here. Click it and boom, there we go. Look at that. So the music, as you can see here, is shaded out. It's ducked here and then it fades back in at the end of my speaking. Let's listen to how this sounds. A little sample. Head to mrc.fm slash learn. Fantastic. So that is a rudimentary uh, use of the ducking feature. Obviously, it ducks it when I speak uh, and then it slowly fades it up when I finish speaking. That, for many documentaries or video production purposes, may be ideal. That may be all you need, but you can always tweak the settings. So say we want to uh, maybe duck the music not quite as much, maybe just by around, uh, let's say, minus 12 dB. We can change the reduction there to be less, generate keyframes, and you'll see that just pops up a little bit. So it's a bit louder, the music. Or about the world of audio, head still pretty good there. And then we can go ahead and we can make the fades much faster if we want, super fast, as quick as 50 millisecond fades generate. And what you're going to see now is it's kind of fading up and fading up in between all of my breaths there. That might be a bit too much. Let's listen. 20 students as I provide one on one coaching. If you're interested, it's kind of fading up every time I stop speaking. So that's super, super sensitive. Obviously, I can reduce the sensitivity a bit here. Let's do that. Regenerate keyframes. Now you can see it's hardly doing anything, so I need to increase the sensitivity and again generate keyframes and we just need to kind of find a sweet spot here of the sensitivity and fades once we've got a good re reduced by. This might be a good fade. Let's listen to this now at the end. .fm learn. That's pretty good. And if we find that the music has gone too high, too hot at the end, we can always zoom right in here and just drag that keyframe at the end and move it down by a few dB there so there's not such a big drastic volume increase. Learn. Maybe that's just a little bit too low, so let's pull that up a little bit more. Slash learn. And there you go, you can hear the music bed slowly increases instead of a dramatic kind of woomph at the end of my speech. But as you can see, this ducking on your background music inside Adobe Premiere Pro CC and the essential sound panel is absolutely huge. Uh, just make sure you assign your dialogue clip as dialogue first in the essential sound, then your music clip as music, and then you can go away. You can even use some of these presets, which are really cool as well. Balanced background music will kind of reduce the volume of the music, see, like that, so everything 
everything can be heard, or you can go for a vocal ducking, a hard or smooth ducking, or duck against absolutely everything that's going on in your sequence. The possibilities are really unlimited, and it really does make mixing in music with dialogue on your video productions super easy and uh, super straightforward. (laughs) 